Hello dear students, I am Dr. Chandrakala HD. In this video, we will be learning the topic application layer. In specific, I will be teaching one of the application layer protocol, HTTP, that is the hypertext transfer protocol. We will be learning the features of HTTP and HTTP transactions. HTTP is a protocol which is used to access data on the World Wide Web or in short WWW. HTTP protocol can be used to transfer data on the web in the form of plain text, audio, video, hypertext, and so on. This protocol is named as hypertext transfer protocol because it can efficiently work in a hypertext environment where there are rapid jumps and navigations from one document to another document. HTTP is similar to the file transfer protocol as HTTP also transfers the files from one host to another on the network. HTTP is simpler than FTP in fact, because HTTP does not use uh, the control connection to transfer the files. As we all know, FTP establishes two connections for every transfer, one control connection and another data connection. In HTTP, there is only one connection that is the data connection for transfer of files. HTTP can carry the data in the form of MIME, multipurpose internet mail extensions. So since HTTP supports this MIME type, the data can be transmitted in any local language along with English, as well as it can support text, audio, video, and picture transmission. Similar to SMTP, HM, HTTP is also a client server protocol. HTTP supports instantaneous delivery of messages. Some of the features of HTTP are, HTTP is a connectionless protocol. The client will initiate a request and wait for a response from the server. No physical connection will be established between client and server. The HTTP is media independent. It can send data as long as both client and server know how to handle the data content. It is not dependent on the transmission medium which is used by the client and server. So it allows the data transmission between the client and server irrespective of the transmission medium specifications. HTTP is a stateless protocol because the client and server need to know each other only for the current transaction. Because of this nature, the client and server need not retain the information between various requests for the web pages. The client and server need not remember the identity of the previous uh, providers of the web pages in previous transactions. Now coming to HTTP transactions. The HTTP transaction between client and server involves request and response. The client will raise a request to the server and the HTTP server will reply with a response. So there are only two kinds of messages in HTTP, request message and response message. The request message will be sent by the client. It contains a request line, header, and sometimes a body. Body is optional. It will be used only if required. The request line and header will provide all the information regarding the website which is currently required by the uh, client. 
the response message is sent by the server to the client it consists of status line headers and sometimes a body now let us understand what is a uniform resource locator the url is a standard way of specifying any kind of information on the internet each web page will be identified by a unique url or uniform resource locator the url will contain four parts method host computer port and path the first part is method part the method part indicates the protocol which is used to retrieve a document from the server for example http is the method which is used to retrieve the document from a server the second part of url indicates the host host is the computer where the information is actually stored and generally an alias name will be given to this computer and it is most of the times a server port is the third part the port in url indicates the port number of the server which is storing the information this port part of the url is an optional part since it's a numerical value it's not mandatory for the user to remember this particular port number in order to provide ease of access the last part of url is path path is the detailed path name of the file where the information is stored in the server the server houses numerous files and each file will have a unique path name so this path name is provided in the path field of the url an example url is http colon double front slash www.gatevidyalay.com front slash url so in this link in this uniform resource locator http is method www.gatevidyalay.com is the host so this is the gate vidyalay server which contains information and the optional port field is not mentioned in this url the path is indicated in this example url and the path is url so i am trying to find information about url in the host gatevidyalay.com so like this any web page we want to browse on the internet will have a uniform resource locator which is a name hence easy to remember for the user each of this web page will be mapped onto a unique ip address using the dns server which happens internally and the complexity is hidden from the user of the net in this video you learned the http protocol in detail thank you